top hats, packs of cards, a string of rainbow handkerchiefs. Things we would typically associate, of course, with a magician, but not really crime prevention. Richard Parsons from Gloucester is a member of the Magic Circle, usually entertaining at weddings and parties and business events. He's now teaching people just how easy it is to be a victim of pickpocketing by doing just that. BBC Radio Gloucestershire's Gemma Dunstan has been to meet him. It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. Hello, Richard. Hi, nice it's to meet you. Hi, Gemma. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So, should we uh, head into town? It's probably easier to show you what I do. Yeah, I know it's dry outside, but you're a magician, aren't you? Can't you magic us there? Yeah, of course I can. Are you ready? Ready. OK, let's do it. You've been visiting busy places like this and teaching people about pickpocketing and crime prevention. How did that come about? Uh, so I'm a close-up magician, but I also specialise in pickpocketing, uh, entertainment pickpocketing. So obviously I give everything back <laughs> and uh, it's great fun. And the police actually approached me, uh, Gloucestershire uh, Police Crime Commission team approached me and asked me to help with some uh, freshers fairs and events for crime prevention. And the idea was to uh, uh, have a real impact with students and make them sure, make sure that they look after their valuables. Did they approach you because there is a big problem or is it just for the prevention purposes? Well, I think obviously in Gloucestershire it's, it's a pretty safe county. You know, we're very fortunate. Uh, so obviously crime is, is pretty low around here. But uh, the police always have a presence at these various events and freshers' fairs. And they give out great advice on uh, looking after valuables and bikes, especially for new students coming to university or visiting the area. So uh, I think th there's not a huge amount of pickpocketing around here but uh, it's always useful to know tips and uh, protect your stuff. And what are your tips for people? Well uh, you'd be amazed how many people I see walking around with bags that are open and unzipped. Phones these days are quite big especially the, the iPhone 6 so uh, they're quite often sticking out of pockets. A big tip would also be to cover your pin as well so when you're typing in your card information always always cover your pin and I see a lot of people that don't do that. What sort of reaction have you had then from these these fresher events? I mean do they expect you just to pull out some sort of card tricks? Do you ever shock them? Well I normally start off with a bit of magic anyway but we've had some great reactions. The feedback from the police and the students have been fantastic and hopefully it's had a real impact so they can actually uh, see and feel what it's like uh, for something to go missing and hopefully they'll remember that and make sure they look after their stuff in future. So, uh, yeah, it, it seems like it's been very, very successful. Now, I know you are a good magician. I'm not doubting your talents, but have you ever been caught? Has anyone thought you're actually trying to pickpocket them? Uh, you get caught sometimes, uh, <laughs> but because it's all part of entertainment, it doesn't really matter. Uh, sometimes different events, uh, if you go to an event where there's lots of engineers or something like that, they can all sit there and try and work it out. So you get caught occasionally, but it's, you know, it's all for fun, it's all for entertainment, so it doesn't really matter. Do you feel a little bit like a superhero, using your magic for good, to stop this crime? Well, it can feel like that sometimes, especially if I'm working with the police, so it's, it's nice to use my powers for good, yes, and hopefully, even if there's just one person that... Uh, protects their valuables and is a little bit safer than, than we've all done a good job. So we're in Gloucester today, should we go and find some people and see if we can, we can pickpocket them and teach them a lesson? Yeah, let's go and find some people. In this life, one thing counts in the bank, large amounts. I'm afraid these don't grow on trees. You've got to pick a pocket or two, you got to pick a pocket or two, boy. You've got to pick a pocket or two. Hi guys, are you in a hurry? Can I borrow you for two seconds? Uh, we're, just, we're just doing a little bit of magic. This is a normal deck, okay? Uh, reach in and take one for me. Let's go with that one. Okay, show everyone. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> so good. I always watch it on TV and I'm... Well, that's amazing, yeah. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. Not only did he do a magic trick for you, but he stole your phone out yeah. of your pocket. That's so when you saw your phone coming out of his pocket, what did you think? Um, oh dear, that could go quite quickly. <laughs> I better put a zip on that. Would that make you think about keeping your belongings safe if you were walking on the oh, street? Yeah, if I'm near him, yeah, it was. <laughs> wow, I'm pretty impressed. That's so good. We have to pick up pocket 
<laughs> Lovely. I love hearing Ron Moody and pick a pocket or two. There we go. BBC Radio Gloucestershire's Gemma Dunstan. Uh, she wasn't fleeced at all there by Richard. Uh, I wonder if you've had anything stolen. What was your story about when you were the victim of a pickpocket? 01452 307575. Did you feel a fool? Would it teach you a lesson if someone pickpocketed you in front of your very eyes? I wonder. Richard's going to be continuing his work with the police and crime commissioner over the coming weeks at university and school events. And his website is gloucestershiremagician.co.uk. And there are more tips and advice if you look up the Gloucestershire PCC as well. 28 minutes past nine right now. Aaron's got the latest on Gloucestershire's roads.